welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Shannon if you've not seen my videos before I am currently 37 weeks pregnant at the time of filming this and I'm kind of just on the home straight now I'm sorting through everything and I'm thinking what videos have I not filmed that maybe I should do before the baby comes so yeah today I am back with a video that is basically things that we've bought for our baby that we have not paid full price for whether that's because it's second hand from Facebook marketplace or because I have found a really good deal or I've used a discount code whatever the reason I kind of thought I would combine all of the things that I've bought or at least try and remember everything that I've bought over this kind of last eight months or so um, for the baby that I have not paid full price for because having a baby is expensive and if anyone knows me they'll know that I love a bargain and <laughs> there's no way that I want to pay full price for something if I don't have to. So I mentioned filming this video on my Instagram which if you don't follow already is just Shannon Lorraine, I will put it on the screen here um, and you can, guys can go and follow me if you want some more kind of up to date, more regular um, like content or whatever I post on Instagram all the time. I just want to say it's absolutely each their own when it comes to kind of second hand or like thrift buying or whatever you want to call it for a baby or just in general. Um, I have mentioned this before but I used to be a little bit of a snob about second hand things um, and I'm still very particular like I wouldn't just take anything or just buy from anyone or you know like I am quite thorough and I've got quite high standards but you can have high standards and buy second hand and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Just the cost like babies don't use things for a long time. Some things they do but some things really they don't and if every person who had a baby bought brand new like there's just so much excess and it's all barely been used. So that's kind of where I'm coming from. I hope you guys kind of understand that and don't, you know, each their own, like no judgment here. If you absolutely wouldn't buy anything secondhand, then that's absolutely fine. If you'd buy everything secondhand, then that's absolutely fine too. Just do what is right for you. And I really, really want to keep this channel as like judgment free and as kind as possible. I know everyone has their own opinions when it comes to parenting, especially, um, which is great. And obviously I'm always open to advice and you know, but I think there's just a way that things can be said that can be kind. I think on my previous video, I had a bit of like a, a funny comment about breastfeeding but whatever um each to their own like i said let's just keep this a positive happy place because let's face it the world is a little bit messed up enough as it is at the minute and we don't need to be adding any more negativity i've waffled on for absolutely ages so let's get into the video so the first thing i will show you is this sterilizer so this was actually free on facebook marketplace and it has never been used um so we bought something else which I'll talk about later from someone on Facebook marketplace and people are so lovely like this has happened a few times you'll notice when I'm talking in this video where you like purchase something on Facebook marketplace and then you know it's quite often like new mums and everyone's so friendly and just like wants to help and yeah so this new mum and also I guess wants to get stuff out the house like I'm sure this stuff is all quite bulky and you know once you're done with it or if you haven't even used it then I'm sure you kind of just want it out your hair but Yes, yeah, so someone actually gave this to us for free. So it was a microwave steam steriliser for bottles. It's the Tommy Tippy one. Um, I haven't actually really looked into what you need to do with this, but there's instructions here and it seems really easy. So yeah, we've got a steam steriliser for our bottles. I won't talk about it too much, but basically I'm undecided what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to play it by ear. I'm going to see what feels right for me and baby. Um, but I have got stuff to bottle feed because that is kind of what I do intend to do Um after a while if not straight away so yeah that's my decision obviously there are some bottle feeding things if you do plan on breastfeeding then you won't need this stuff unless you know things can change you might plan on it and not be able to you just have to keep a very open mind I think with being a new mum and especially a first time mum like I think it's just all about trial and error and like I said before winging it <laughs> the next thing I've got is this Tommy Tippy um perfect prep machine if you've not heard of these these basically make bottles to the perfect temperature so you add the formula to the bottle and you choose how much you want and it basically does, does a shot of hot water which i think kills off any bacteria in the formula and then it does the rest with um the right temperature water and it apparently makes the bottle in two minutes and it's ready to go it's the perfect temperature um which sounds like the dream so i remember when my nephews were babies and we had to make bottles for my nephews it would just take ages like yeah we were constantly having to like test the temperature of the 
milk on our wrist to make sure it was like fine to give to the baby and stuff and because obviously it starts off really hot and then you have to wait for it to cool down and the baby can be screaming and stuff so this does sound like a lifesaver um i have heard that there's some controversy around this i feel like with everything to do with baby there's controversy but i've done my own research this seems really good for us and i hope that you know if you guys are in the market to buy these things or whatever then just do your own research don't go by what i say or what everyone else says just have a look at the facts and decide what is right for you and hopefully everyone will just respect that that's your decision um so yeah i got that and that was brand new when i say brand new like the box was still taped up um and inside it's like all got its cellophane on it's like protective foam like it absolutely has not been opened at all um and so that was brand new on facebook marketplace but these this is the older model there is a new model now which i think looks more like digitally and i think the newer model is about 140 pounds um like retail obviously there's deals and stuff to be had probably but that's how much the like new one is i wasn't fussed about it being like the digital one like this does what i need it to do um and yeah so this lady was selling it on facebook marketplace because she actually had two she got given one at her baby shower and they'd already bought one for themselves so yeah one has just literally been sat there unopened in the packaging um and so i got that for 40 pounds which you can get these second hand for like 10, 15, 20, 30 pounds I've kind of seen second hand, um, but they are used. And I, like I said, I am very much like, you do you when it comes to second hand and what you feel comfortable with. And I'm not saying I'm against getting one of these second hand, but I was much rather have one that hasn't been used um, just because I don't know, like the formula and stuff like, I don't know, you know, it's just like a, a personal preference but i was really happy to find this brand new at that price i think um in shops brand new they are around 80 pounds i have seen them once drop to 60 pounds in like a on asda i think they had like a baby event um so yeah they you can get it cheaper but for 40 pounds when it you know potentially should have been 60 or 80 pounds i thought was a really good price this may be cheating but just because i've got the um machine there i thought i would just throw these in i got these um tommy tippy bottles I think these were meant to be like nine pounds or something and I got them for free because I used some boots points on them so that's always like a really handy thing that sometimes we forget is our boots points and things add up and they can uh, you know we can end up getting things for free so I know that's not technically like free because I had to have those boots points but yeah always remember to use club cards and boots points and whatever else you collect and don't forget to cash in the deals okay so this is brand new it isn't second hand um Again, it was one of those things where secondhand people seem to be charging kind of not dissimilar to what they are brand new and we wanted a very specific baby monitor. Um, we didn't want one with a video on, which I know a lot of people do now. That's like the thing that people have, but I know it sounds silly. I just get a bit creeped out <laughs> by like ghosts and things. It sounds so silly, like I'm about to have a baby, I need to man up. But I just would, I just, the thought of having like a camera on my baby and then seeing something I don't know it just sounds weird doesn't it but like that's my thing and also i just neither of us we just really weren't into having a video we you know it's easy enough to go and look and yeah if that might change when the baby's here we might completely change our mindset like i said we're very kind of open to change and just playing it by ear but at the minute we decided we didn't want one with a video so that automatically makes them cheaper and the one that we wanted is called the BT Digital Baby Monitor 450 Light Show. Um, I haven't got the box here because we've like charged it up and stuff already, but this I got on Boots. I had been looking for months to try and get this cheaper. So I think this is £50 like everywhere new. Sometimes it's more expensive, but £50 is the cheapest I could find it. And then um, one day Boots had like a 10% off um baby stuff and then i also have a 10 percent student discount so i'm not a student i had the card <laughs> for ages and it actually expires i think this month which is really sad because i've had it for years um but yeah so that's like an additional discount that i was able to get and i'm really grateful for that and then they also do the thing where it's like eight points per one pound or something on boots so you collect extra points but yeah so i ended up getting this for like 20 percent off um which was the exact monitor that we wanted um so again it's just about keeping an eye on things like you have 
nine months really <laughs> to keep an eye on all of the things, get a list together of what you're after for your baby, if there's specific models you're after or if you're not fussed then it's just really handy to have that time to keep an eye on and like don't rush into buying things. I think at the very early stages I was very much of like oh I was so excited I just wanted to get everything. Um, but if you hold out, then deals will definitely come up, whether it's baby events or on Facebook Marketplace or Black Friday or what, however it falls, just definitely hold on in there and kind of set yourself an amount. Or if you know that something's like hardly ever discounted, second that there's a discount of any kind, then it's probably worth going for. Um, so yeah, this monitor we wanted, it's literally um, the two-way thing. It's this thing and you can choose it to play music, you can choose it to do a light show and it like projects on the ceiling so this would obviously be in baby's room and we'd have this downstairs with us or in our bedroom or you know depending where he is but yeah you can control it from this, you can talk through it, you can play music, you can change the volume, um, obviously it's a monitor as well so it lets us know if he's making noise and stuff but if he sounds like he's not like completely awake and he's just a little bit unsettled then maybe it'd be quite handy to just be able to play a little bit of like soft music have the light show go off and hopefully it'll send him back to sleep and that's handy because we don't have to go into his room and like manually do it on this thing we don't have to disturb him he doesn't have to see us hopefully the plan is we can just be out of the room and um yeah use this to to help okay so the next thing i've got is definitely a controversial thing i know it is a snuggle nest um this is a mamiya one which i think is like aldi's range i don't know or little and this was something else i also got given on facebook marketplace for free I think she did photography and um yeah so she said she'd use this once for a photo shoot and yeah it was just going free so we were there anyway getting other bits which i'll talk about later um so yeah, I'm not sure how much we're going to use this. I know that people um, definitely have differing opinions on these type of things. They're like not dissimilar to the sleepy head, which again, is just like super controversial, but each to their own. I think as long as you are happy with the decisions you're making, these products would not be on sale if they were like really unsafe. Um, and I would never, ever, ever leave Buzz unattended in this. So this will be, you know, an option to have if I'm, in the living room and he wants to be snug and you know he's sleeping like, pop him down in this on the sofa or on the floor and like dust whilst he's you know asleep in something cozy but i can definitely still keep an eye on him i don't know i've just got it here it's free it was an option um the cover comes off so i have washed it um but yeah it's just one of these sleepy head things and she literally said a baby was in it for like 20 minutes having photos and then she's not used it since so yeah like i think again it's one of those things you just have to use your your own judgment and i trusted the lady she seemed very very lovely and it's yeah like obviously each their own i would never leave him unattended in that and yeah so i got that for free i don't know how much it was retail probably not too much because it was from aldi or wherever but i thought i would include it in this video Something else I got from that lady, which I don't have to hand here, um, but it was a baby, I think you say baby, I think it's baby Bjorn, baby, baby Bjorn, yeah, carrier, um, which I've looked up and they seem really expensive and she gave that to us for free as well. She said she just didn't use it, so we got that. I think on the box it said it was like £80 or something, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, we've got that to use when we want to go on walks without the pram and things and obviously that was free, so that's really lovely and I just do find like, mums can be a really lovely community i'm sure i definitely have experienced already like the not so nice side of it but generally i think mums and women and dads and everyone who is a new parent um who's a nice person just wants to build each other up and help each other out and yeah she was really lovely so we got the sneaky head the carrier and also we got our cot from her for free um now when we got the cot um it was like natural brown wood and her kid had drawn on it so we decided anyway that we would want to paint it because it just freshens it up it makes it feel like a new piece of furniture um obviously it's wood and it's like it just seems wasteful the amount of cots that you see on facebook marketplace and stuff that uh, people are literally giving away for free and it just seems wasteful to buy a brand new one when you know they're, they're wooden furniture like they're decent furniture so yeah we've painted it, um, it was natural colour, covered in pen, we've painted it white, which looks really lovely in his room, I'll show you in a minute. Um, but yeah, so we got those three things from that lady for completely free, so that was really nice. Um, but I don't think that's a rare occurrence, like I think if you just keep an eye on Facebook Marketplace, talk to people, be friendly, like I could have just been like, 
because it was just the cot that um, I originally messaged her about. I could have just been really blunt and just been like, yeah, I'll have this please, like whatever. But I think if you're just a friendly, nice person, then people want to help you. So yes, we end up getting a few bits from that lady, but I'll show you the cot in a minute. So I'm sure there will be stuff as soon as I finish filming that I realise I've forgotten to talk about that I've got secondhand or on a budget. To be fair, like I do always look for a bargain. So pretty much all of his things we have got... Um, money off of whether it's from like I said discount codes I always use Quidco as cashback so I will definitely you leave my link I've got a referral link which I think um, anyone can get it's not like an ad or anything like that I think if you use it and you get a certain amount of cashback then I get like an incentive fee as well like I think we both get like 10 pounds or something if you sign up using my code so yeah I'll pop that below um, obviously no pressure you can go and sign up off your own back as well um, but yeah, Quidco is a great one for just getting cash back without, you know, you don't have to do anything. You literally just open it on Quidco, click their link, and it will take you to the website. So if you want to buy something from Boots, go on to Quidco, type in Boots, and then click the link. And it just, I think it just tracks what you buy, whatever. But I have got hundreds of pounds cash back from Quidco over the years. Um, even my Disney holiday, I've got a couple hundred pounds cash back, you know, like I definitely think using cashback websites is a brilliant way to save money and it's something that I only started doing a few years ago but I know that like it definitely saves money so just definitely recommend doing that. I think pretty much all of his things I have kind of got some kind of like cashback or discount or money off um, just because that's who I am <laughs> and I really begrudge paying full price for things so yes um, but generally like these are kind of the few bigger things that would be really expensive and I actually got them for a really good price. The next thing we got is this bath chair. <laughs> um, now, I know the, I think it's the Angel Care it's called, is like a super popular bath support, um, but they're quite expensive. And I actually got this from Asda, I think it was £4.95, and yeah, the reviews are really, really amazing, and obviously it's really affordable. So that's how much it was full price. I didn't get a discount on that or anything like that. Um, I don't know how long it will last. It seems quite little, but... Yeah, it's a bath support that sits in the bath and obviously you never leave them unattended in the bath anyway. The next thing that I got was this play mat from Amazon, I got it. Um, it is available in quite a few different shops. Um, but I had been looking at this on like eBay, Spock, Facebook Marketplace. There's quite a lot of them come up, but um, I didn't really find that they were like way cheaper. And this came up on the Black Friday sale. And um, I think RRP, it says on Amazon, it's like 78 pounds or something ridiculous. I had seen it regularly for about 50 pounds, um, which does just still seem like a lot for a play mat. It is a really nice one. Um, it has this like cushion which is like a sensory cushion it's got all of these hangy bits um, mr ray plays music and has flashing lights so it's obviously really like a good sensory play mat um and obviously i love myself a bit of disney so this was definitely something that i'd had on my baby list um and yeah so when it came up on the black friday sales i think i paid 42 pounds for it so um not a mega discount but like i said um, a, you know, any discount on some products is good because some just don't drop that much. Um, but definitely keep an eye out if you kind of save it in a few different baskets and maybe see if you get an email if any of the prices drop or things like that. Next thing that I've got is this Chico bouncer, rocker, swing, whatever you want to call it. It's got um, like an electronic bit so it does the swinging automatically. It has different settings, it plays music. Um, it's obviously got this like little mobile thing which you can detach and it folds up really easily as well so it's still like not super streamlined when it's folded up but it's definitely um good that it has the option to fold up and kind of save a bit of space when we're not using it um and so i knew that we wanted one of these again to just pop baby in if i'm trying to get some bits done or he's not settling or whatever things like that um so i knew that this was on our list and this was one of the most recent things that we ended up buying um so i got this in the boxing day sales but I'm, you know, there's always deals out there. Like as January comes around, it feels, it seems like there's loads of baby events on and stuff. So definitely keep an eye out. I got it on a website called online for baby dot com which is also where i got his mattress from this was um when i was looking online the prices everywhere else seemed to be like 69 pounds um 
£54, things like that. I actually got this for £39, so I was really happy with that, and that was with like free postage and everything. Um, and yeah, it's the exact same model. I will say, like, we found it really difficult to build, which I don't know if that's just us or if we had one that was like a little bit out of shape, but it just was having some issues, and then we couldn't get it to work. But I think the batteries we were trying to use weren't strong enough, it is battery powered, so. Um, you know, you will probably end up going through a lot of batteries. I'm not really sure. I guess it depends on the quality of the batteries that you use. Um, we had just some cheapy ones, so we definitely need to get some more. But yeah, I thought for like £39 when other, like I'm literally looking here, when on very, it's like £70, um, £69, um, you know, like all different prices. So for the £39 that I paid for that, I'm really happy. And it has like two positions, I think. I don't really know how to do it yet. So he can sit up and he can lay down as well. So I was really happy with that. I've just turned the camera. So the next thing we've got that was like second hand was this chair. Now we're super lucky that actually my brother gifted us this chair. Um, he used to have it in his lounge, but it is perfect for like a nursing chair. It really goes with his room well. It's super comfy, it's super big, like, and it's just really supportive. It's got nice arms and it's gonna be a really great chair. I already keep finding Ollie in here, just scrolling on his phone. It's like really comfy. And also, yeah, just for me, like. Like just being in here even if I'm not um, breastfeeding stuff like obviously just still bottle feeding it's just somewhere else to come we're gonna get some shelves up on the wall and have some of his books on there and yeah so this was free I mean it's not something that you're gonna easily be able to find but again you know like if you just mention that what you're up to and stuff and <laughs> talking to family members and things you never know people might be having a clear out might have something that they no longer need that might suit you um, or friends and yeah just have a look online we were before my brother like that literally is what happened like we were saying that we were looking to get a chair and he had this one but yeah we were looking on facebook marketplace and spock and places like that we actually got our living room sofa from spock so there's definitely good deals to be had um secondhand and some items are like brand spanking new like our sofa was perfect and um such a good price so yeah definitely keep an eye out if you're not fussy you can always buy um a chair or something and then pay maybe to get it professionally cleaned or to do it yourself like it's still going to work out a ton cheaper and obviously it's better for the environment it stops things going to waste and yeah you can end up with some really lovely bits so this is his cot i will pick up the camera in a minute and show you as well but yeah so we got this i'll insert a picture of what it looked like on the facebook listing when we bought it and you'll see it was like brown wood completely covered in a pen and like everything like that so we got this completely free this was missing a couple of screws which the lady didn't like mention she had dismantled it and um obviously this was during the virus and everything so it was like left out as like a doorstop collection um and we got it home and we started building it and we realized we were missing some screws which was a little Little bit annoying um and to try and find the right ones and stuff but we did it in the end like it was it was fine and obviously it was a free cot so these things are going to happen um but we've got all brand new screws for it in the end anyway which made us kind of feel a bit better because it's like even sturdier you know and it's lovely we really like it obviously we didn't get a mattress with it we've bought this brand new because that's super important um with a newborn baby to have a new mattress and yeah so we've done that and I just was able to find the type of cot this was and like, I mean, you could literally just measure the size mattress you need, but I just found it online and I got this again on online for baby, which is the same place where I got the rocker and the mattress when I was looking originally, I think was about 60 pounds and I got it for 31 pounds. So that is such a bargain. Like definitely just keep a lookout. Um, I know like the boxing day sales might be kind of over, but it is still January. So a lot of shops do still have them on. So definitely just have a look if you're not in a rush. So the next thing that we got was his Moses basket now I knew I really liked this design one it's like this dimple um, white design and yeah I wanted the rocking stand just because it's like a nice way to be able to soothe him obviously during the night etc um, so these are definitely something you can get secondhand like on Facebook marketplace and stuff there are loads and loads and loads and they're literally like five ten pounds um, and in retrospect I probably would do that and just buy a new mattress but when I bought this I was just still a little bit unsure and I don't really know what I was doing that much <laughs> I still obviously don't but I feel like you could definitely buy one of these secondhand and you can buy the like um these covers so you could literally just use the basket and the stand if you wanted and replace everything else like you should get a new mattress anyway um but they're super cheap so yeah i basically got this and 
I think for the rocking ones, I was seeing them for about like 60, 70 pounds for the whole set. And then on a website called Precious Baby, I think it's called, let's have a look. Precious Little One is where I got this from in the end. So I paid 18.95 for the rocking base and I paid 29.95 for the basket. And this is obviously brand new. Um, but I will say, yeah, maybe you could have a look and see about getting it secondhand if you didn't mind and just replacing the mattress. That would obviously be cheaper. Um, but yeah, I really love this design. You can get them cheaper without a rocking stand and with different designs, but I just really liked this one. And yeah, for this particular one as a set, like I say, it was like 60, 70 pounds. And I think I paid like, is it 45 pounds or something for them both together? And I'll just bring you in just so you can see. It's like dimple design and it comes with this like blanket which I've just got tucked down um the mattress is in here I've just got a mattress protector on it and a sheet I just bought these from Asda um I love Asda bedding for us anyway um I find them really affordable and stuff yeah so I just really like this and I just think it looks really cute and I just love this dimple design so this was the one that we wanted, but there are definitely cheaper options available. But yeah, I just think just because you want to buy things on a budget or whatever, you don't have to like settle for things that you don't want. Like I knew I wanted that design and I just kept hunting until I find it at a good price. So the last thing that I'm going to show you in this video is our pram. So we got this on eBay. It was secondhand and it is in such good condition though. I I'm obsessed with it. Like ever since being pregnant, you know, like how that like Ollie, he loves cars. And he'll drive past the car and he'll be like, oh, it's so nice. And he like just always looking at all the cars, whereas I'll be driving down the road and not pay attention at all to what cars go past. But now I feel like I'm like that with prams a little bit. So we went for the Silver Cross Wayfarer, I think. It's in the colour sand, so it's like a beigey colour. Um, again, like gender neutral um, for like if we have another one, but I just really love this colour. And yeah, it's, I think, new. Um, they vary from like £800 to like, over a thousand pounds, they can be so expensive. Um, they're a really good make, it's got really good reviews, etc. etc. And this is something though that we did get <laughs> very soon after baby, um, as soon after we found out we were having a baby, um, because I just got excited and I was just looking on eBay and um Spark and Facebook Marketplace, and they were all still coming up at like kind of 350 400 pounds second hand now that might have changed this was a while ago now um but at the time that was kind of the prices that were coming up and so i got this um like as part of a set so it's the pram and came with like the rain cover it comes with like the foot muffs and stuff and then there's also the the seat for when he grows out of the lay down cot so it's like the next stage up one um and yeah so it's really really good i love it so i'll show you it now it's got the rain cover on at the moment just because we've kept it on to like protect from like dust and stuff um so we got it out of storage the other day just so i could have a little play around with it so this is it with its rain cover on so it's got the like silver is it called a chassis Sh chassis i don't know um and then there's the um, handle here which is height adjustable which is really good because I'm five foot two and Ollie is how tall are you six one six two so yeah there's quite a height difference between us um, so to have this easy adjustable handle is really really helpful I don't want either of us to get a bad back trying to push him around um, it's got the obviously the storage section down there which has just got um, some bits in at the minute but then if I take off the rain cover i'll show you what it looks like without that on just gorgeous i just love it <laughs> um so this is what it looks like um in like i said it's this like sand color and then this little like foot muff bit the blanket bit whatever um just does up by a magnet so you literally just drop it on and it connects over but then if i want to you know take him out you literally just push the lift these things up on either side and then lift him up obviously i'm holding a camera so it's not that easy but yeah, so he can lay in there and um, I just love it. It's got these little details. I just think it looks really, really classy and I just really like it. It's got this little flap here, little, you know, window flap. <laughs> I don't know what these things are for though. If anyone knows what they're for, let me know. Maybe it's for a parasol. Um, but yeah, and then it's obviously got the footboard down there for when it turns into the next stage up. But I just love it. <laughs> I just think it looks so 
classy and ugh, I can't wait to be going on little walks, pushing him around. And then it's got these things, which I assume are to be able to hang your bag off. I don't know, um, but it folds down really easy. We paid £250 for that. This obviously isn't like the newest model of the Wayfarer. I'm sure there are newer ones, but yeah, we're really happy with it. It pushes really well and obviously we've not tested it to its full extent until he's here we won't know exactly but for now um he seems really good and we really really like it definitely let me know in the comments if you've bought anything secondhand or the best bargains you've got if there's anything right now that's like a super good bargain that you're like yes you need that then send me the link because i love a bargain i hope you did enjoy this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up it absolutely means the world and also feel free to subscribe if you haven't already um i've got my link in the description below for my instagram and everything like that so yes i would love if you'd like to follow along on this journey i cannot believe i'm what is it 37 weeks i'm like two days pregnant now so we're really really getting there um so yeah it will be a very exciting time ahead for me and for this channel i will see you very soon Thanks for watching. Bye. We cross over borders, get where we are, and it's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you.